course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with the same height and a similar reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 14 wins, six losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, Corey Anderson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 189 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Nurmago Meda! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. His opponent would be wise to get the guard up here early. This man has won his last three fights, all of them by flush knockout. Each knockout more impressive than the last. We'll see if he can keep it going here tonight. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Big punch land. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high crotch. Oh! And he flipped him over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the High level grappling can really be entertaining. with ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Nermako Meta. Left hand plus the clinch. And they separate. Anderson. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Nermako Meta gets up. He is back on the feet here. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. that will finish the fight. Oh, do you believe that another head kick lands? Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end. I mean, it's going to be the end of the fight. It's very surprising that he's even standing upright after taking such a bad shot. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting him over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand -up? to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh. Oh. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Second right, round, straight ahead. So big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew. Ready? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. Here by Anderson. 
And he landed the right hand there. Pretty good right hand. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Well, you got to think frustration is starting to set in on the other side as he lands another takedown, and he knew he was going to get a lot of this offensive wrestling, as yet he's been unable to stop. He has not been able to stop it, and it's a different wrestler. It's a Damian Maya type of wrestler, where they get close to you, they hook their feet, they drag you to the mat, knowing that once you're on the ground, now you're really in trouble, because the takedown is only a part of the danger. The true danger is grappling with such a great submission special. Yeah, nothing fun about it. Double leg shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Under two minutes now to go round two. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Anderson. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Ooh. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly slipped out of the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Can't take many of those. You better check. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. Wow. Wow. He's done. He's done. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 57 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by So there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of